Lately, the royal debate has focused too much on what Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are saying about Kate Middleton and what the whale princess thinks. Instead, Princess Valia captured the moment with unabashed attention thanks to Prince Harry's baby brain announcement, which gave the world access to yet another baby brain. Middleton's enthusiasm for her project spilled over into a political row outside Windsor Castle as she addressed the newly formed advisory board of the Royal Children's Fund Center Hello and welcome to Royal Insider. If you're here for the first time, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss all our Royal updates. In addition, the Princess of Wales launched a project with the Maternal Mental Health Alliance in 2018 to provide psychological support to early pregnancy. As a mother of three in the spotlight, she has a soft spot for this project. Milton is taking steps in the right direction as she continues to work to promote successful child development and mental health in the UK. The eight-member committee includes distinguished names such as Professor Peter Fauna OBE, Chair of Psychology and Language at UCL, and Amanda Berry, Chief Executive of the Royal Foundation, among others. The committee was greeted by the jovial Princess Kate. Sensing the tense atmosphere around her, the princess not only greeted with a smile, but also told a joke that made everyone sigh with relief. Thank you for being here on a cold sunny morning, Milton said as MPs couldn't help but giggle too. The Princess of Wales is smart to start with an old weather joke, because the problem they're trying to solve is definitely not alone. The committee aims to advise Milton on the Royal Early Childhood Foundation Center, which she will launch in 2021. They will help her make the most of her interest in early childhood development. Milton argued that if we are to create a healthier, happier society for future generations, we must first understand and recognize the unique importance of the first five years of life, the Telegraph reported in 2022. Her goal is to make sure people understand the importance of baby brains. Do you know Kate Middleton's thought-provoking project on baby brains and development? Let us know in the comments below. Additionally, for much of Queen Elizabeth II's reign, there was an unspoken rule that senior members of the royal family were not allowed to take photos with the public, especially selfies. But with King Charles III taking the throne and seeking to modernize the monarchy, it seems the family is making concessions to that cause, as Catherine wasn't afraid to stop and smile for pictures with peasants when she was alone. First time this year! The Princess of Wales visited Fox Cubs Nursery School in Luton last Wednesday, where she spent time playing with the children, spending time with parents and talking to teachers about their role in a child's early life. But that's not all she does during her performances. In addition to the photos that Catherine would normally have at an event, she was also seen posing for a photo with her fans. We bet the trio is beaming after posing with Katrina. Interestingly, those who closely follow the royal family have noticed that the 41-year-old king and even Prince William break the rules and pose for photos with the public. As we mentioned earlier, Queen Elizabeth generally follows a more traditional and strict protocol during her reign, especially when dealing with followers. But it's clear that King Charles isn't feeling a pinch of selfies, at least judging by Princess Catherine's recent public appearances.